Well, how do you do, everybody? Today is another day, and the New Church Trevians take on the Glamrock South Titans after a disaster of a game in the first meeting between the two teams for the New Church Trevians. Scott Hamas leading it off for the Trevians here in the top of the first inning. Central Suburban South game. And a strike on the outside corner. Strike one. Hamas, left fielder, pitches low ball. Mike Lenkos on the mound and a base hit for Hamas. Lead off single. And Semi Viscotti, the batter. And takes a strike, strike one. Cloudy day, threat of rain. It has been raining off and on. Just about all day today in real time. And the delivery. A strike on the outside corner. And a line shot caught by the third baseman over to first in time. And they double up Hamas at first. And two away. And Jake Reynolds the batter. And takes a strike. Strike one. Center fielder, swing out of it, strike two. Inside a ball. And that's low ball. Two. Jake Reynolds, two out, nobody out. And a high pop-up on the infield. Second baseman calls for it and takes it for the out. So at the end of having to play, no score between Nutra and Glenbrook South. And Connor Pauley laying it off. Ben Breck on the mound for the Trevians. And the first pitch in there for a strike on the inside corner. Breakfast up, or so a little bit of an unknown for the Columbia South Titans. First time they're facing him. And that's in there for a strike. Connor Pauley leading it off. Set to the outside. And comes in strike three. Call him looking. One away. Here's Jim Jimmy Ruddy. And swung at a high pitch. Strike one. Word. Here at Glenbrook South. Right into the line. The pitch. Strike three. Caught him looking. Both times. Here in the top of the first inning. The first two batters he faced. Struck him out. Looking. Here's Tommy O'Hara. He takes a pitch high for a ball. First ball that uh, Brecht has thrown. 
Six strikes for that. And a strike at the knees on the inside corner. What a one to O'Hara. And a ball, and the count's gone blackjack to O'Hara. Kind of a chilly afternoon. Have had worse. But we got the rain to deal with. Ball ball. And the count evens up at deuces. And strike three. Struck out the side. Three up, three down. No runs, no hits, no errors, nobody left. And the end of one. No score between New Chair and Glubrook South. We'll be back with more. You get to hear my voice a lot. The most coverage of high school sports on the North Shore is on the Metro Chicago Sports Network. And you can see our broadcast on Comcast, Northern Cook County, on New Trier Television, on AT&T Uverse in the Chicago area, on Highland Park Access, and on our YouTube affiliate. There is no privilege that lets a parent violate the law and permit teenage drinking or drug abuse. Parents who host lose the most. Don't be a party to teenage drinking. A message in the public interest from the Metro Chicago Sports Network where we move along to the second inning of this one. Logan Weibel leads it off. Got a little bit of a mist. A rainy mist coming down. There's a ball outside. Ball one to Weibel. That was somewhat surprising they even played the game. I thought it would be too muddy. I mean, they did do a lot of work on this infield, but it's still pretty muddy. We've had a lot of rain this week. In real time, there's a strike on the outside corner. And scoop dead and... Nope, left fielder did not get it. And the base hit. And the courtesy runner is David Egan running it first. And here's Will Frankie. And the ball gets away, and he got off to second. So runner at second. And there goes a bunt and foul. And Frankie fouls one off. Trying to stay alive. Baseball. Moving along. Getting close to the playoffs already. And that one gets in the dirt and away, and he getting off to third. Got to be one of those days. It's a pretty slippery field today. And a fly ball. That might be a gapper out there. It is out the left center. Frankie on his way to second, and Egan trots home with the first run of the ball game. Trevian's on the board. And here is Matt McCaffrey. And he takes a strike, strike one. Frankie with the lead off second. Lundquist delivers low, a ball, to Matt McCaffrey. Showing butt, pulled it back, and took a strike on the outside corner.
And again shows bunt. And again pulls it back. And fouls it off. And the bunt side off now with two strikes on him. And a pitch low ball. Top of the second. Look back. Delivery. In there, strike three. And here's Grant Klenovich. And a ground ball. And second baseman bobbled it. Error. And Klenovich aboard at first. And Frankie over to third. Here's Frank Nicholas. What out? High pop up. Second baseman back on in short right field to take it for the out. Here's Drew Lamott. And strike, strike what? Trevi's in a two-game losing streak right now. Pitches low ball. After the big slaughter roll victory against Deerfield, all of a sudden they're having their woes. There's a strike on the outside corner. And hit by the pitch is Lamont. And the bases are loaded for the Trevians. And back to the top of the batting order, it's Scott Hamas, the batter. He singled his last time up. Raced on a line drive out, throw him out, double play. And a fly ball to right field. Right fielder waiting and takes it for the out. So we go to the bottom half of the second inning. And Cody Carroll to lead it off. Cody Carroll, Ben Sanborn, and Mario Tercy do up. Yeah, strike. Boy, Brecht is starting off here. Throwing strikes. Outside a ball. That's only his second or third ball that he's thrown. He struck out the side in the first. And a strike. One and two. Uh, and Cody Carroll, number four batter in the Titans lineup, set to the outside as Weibel. And in, but in high, a ball. Deuces on the count. I think this is the deepest he's been on an account in the, the whole game. And uh, now it is for sure. Count's gone full. And foul ball back. Cody Carroll. Batting here in the bottom of the second. And strike three. Caught him looking. Well, three of the four batters that Brecht has faced, he's struck out and caught him looking. Pitches high a ball to Sam Bourne. Delivers. Ball ball. Big six foot six sophomore. 
Van Breck. And low and away a ball. And strike three, another one. Caught looking. Here's Mario Tercy. That's five in a row on the strikeouts. Foul ball back. Not giving his fielders a lot of opportunity. Ball ball off to the right. I suppose that's good. Foul ball out of play. 0 and 2. And Wasey Wood. High and outside the ball. And 55 footer. And drop third strike. Go to first. And got Tercy and again struck out the side. At the end of two, it's one nothing new trier. We'll be back with more. Visit the Metro Chicago Sports Network homepage website for the list of all the games that are available on our YouTube affiliate. Being on a team is a privilege, not a right. Meaning you've got to use uh, teamwork and you've got to work at it. A message in the public interest from the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Where we go to the third inning. So Sammy Biscotti leading it off here in the third. First pitch. Inside corner for a strike. Yeah, strike on the outside corner. To Visconti, shortstop for the Trevians. Shave and a haircut, two bits, high and tight. And a ground ball fall. And in the dirt of ball. Kind of a 55 footer. And a high pop up foul. And first baseman calls everybody off and takes it for the out. Sam Bourne with the out. And here's Jake Reynolds. And a strike. Yeah, over to first. Five three got to put out. Two out. And a ball. To Logan Weibel. Pop-up foul, and again, the first baseman takes it for the out to end the inning. And we go to the bottom half of the third. Three up, three down. And the Titans come to bat. Here's Paul Jones. 
Number seven in the lineup. Oh. Yeah, swing it a bit straight. Breck delivers. Swing it a bit. Strike two. Set to the inside. And yeah, fall ball back. And a pitch high a ball. Waste of what? Try to get him to go fishing a little bit. The pitch was upstairs. And a ball inside. Didn't miss by much. Deuces on the count. And strike three. Seven up and seven down, all via strikeouts by Brecht. Here's DJ Dillon. Shave and haircut two bits. I am tight for a ball. Look at the best strike. What I want. Got a little piece of it, I guess. Swinging a bit straight. As the rain continues to come down here. Bottom of the third. And a fall ball. Time called. And strike three caught him looking. Eight in a row. Struck out by Breck here. Ball ball back at us. Number nine in the batting order, Robert Melota. I've never seen anybody strike out guys in a row like this. And a line shot, that's a base hit. Never seen a pitcher as dominant as that, as Brecht has been through the first three innings here. Outside of all. I've seen no hitters, but they didn't they weren't strikeout dominant like that. He struck out the first eight in a row and uh, one, two, three, four. Five of them were looking. Polly fly ball, left fielder. Thomas over and has it for the out. And we play 2 3. It's 1 0, New Trier. We'll be back with more. Current games and great games of the past are seen on the Metro Chicago Sports Network on our YouTube affiliate. Hard work at practice is the key to success in a game. A message in the public interest from the Metro Chicago Sports Network that reminds you of the great games of the past are seen on YouTube. We move along to the top of the fourth inning. Well, Frankie letting it off. And the pitch, and a fly ball, and that's going to be a gap route in right center. Back against the fence, and Frankie in the second. They'll concede the double, and throw to third. Second double of the ball game for Frankie, and here's Matt McCaffrey. And take the pitch low and outside the ball. Matt McCaffrey. Batting here. Foul ball. Hot 
Hot corner. McCaffrey. And he did offer for the strike. Thought he pulled it back. Didn't do so in time. And a little squibber fall. Third baseman for the Trevians. Frankie with the lead. And a fly ball on the giddy up. And left fielder reaches out. Nice catch for the out. And Frankie will have to retreat back to second. Here's Grant Kletovich. He was safe on an error his last time up. And a pitch high a ball. And low ball. Klonovich batting. Throw back. Runner's sake. And in there for a strike at the knees. And strike two. That one looked a little low to me, but okay. And I think it did to Grant do. He didn't like the call pull and uh, called time to regroup his head a little bit. Now the pitch, strike three. Ball tip held on. Two away. Frank Nicholas, the batter. And a high fly ball. Everybody giving chase, center fielder. Cody Carroll calls for it, takes it for the out. And that's three away. So we go to the bottom half of the fourth, halfway home with the ball game. And the Nutrier Trevians leading the Glenbrook South Titans by the score of one to nothing. And Jimmy Ruddy leading it off for the Titans. Ben Brecht on the mound. Pitch on the way. Low and inside a ball. And a strike, one and one. Big left-hander delivers. Yeah, swing and a miss strike. That might have been a little bit high. Might have even been out of the strike zone. And a line shot, base hit. Single to right center. Second hit of the ball game for the Titans. And here's Tommy O'Hara. And he takes a pitch high, a ball. Ball one. Everybody who's batting now, their first time up, struck out. And tried to call time. And... The ump said, okay, well, we'll just let it along. Strike. He tried to call time and tried to call it too late, but Breck took the bait. It's basically what happened. And uh, now the bunt attempt, and that's going to work as a sacrifice. Moved the runner along, got him on the tag. Lodovich tagging out O'Hara and here's Cody Carroll so runner at second so we're going to be a strike
Kirk around the plate. Ball. Bottom of the fourth inning. And high and outside a ball. A ball back at us again. Keeping, keeping you honest. Keeping you awake. I love those. I really do. Never get hurt. The screen in a way. But it's certainly as a shot, you know, uh, on your television set. Going to wake you up. Cody Carroll continues to bat. Number four batter in the Titans lineup. And a pitch low for ball four. So two on. And here's Ben Samborn. And takes a strike on the outside corner. And his umpire is not very demonstrative with his strikes here. Swing and a fly ball. That's going to be trouble. Up past Reynolds. Throws it back into the infield, but out before two runs are going to come home. And Sanborn into second. So a one out double, and the Titans have taken the lead two to one. Here's Mario Tercy. He takes the ball outside. And a ground ball, second baseman. Lamont over to Klonovich for the out. And Sanborn over to third. Here's Paul Jones. Oh, well, you got ourselves a stamp of ball game at least. In the rain. It's nice to have that. Got some action in the bullpen. And the ball low. I think that's... Uh, and Andrew uh, Irvileno. I think that's who that is. I didn't really see him throwing. Pitch on the way. Fall ball. Yeah, got a little piece of it falling off. Strike. Right into the mid of Weibels, so no harm, no foul. And a fly ball. Left fielder Hamas over and takes it for the out and the inning. At the end of four, it's Glumberg South two and Nutrier one. We'll be back with more. This is the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Alcohol is illegal anywhere on school grounds under Illinois law, and that includes the parking lots and the open-air facilities. A message in the public interest from the Metro Chicago Sports Network, where we move along to the fifth inning with the Nutrier Trevians now behind a run. Titans le leading this one 2-1. to one. Top of the fifth. And Drew Lamont leading it off. Takes a strike. Strike one. Outfield playing pretty much straight away. Strike on the outside corner. We've had off and on rain. Drizzle missed. And out and out rain. So it's been a little gray and dingy around here. Ground ball. Over to first in time. Second to first for the out. One away. And here is Scott Hammes, leadoff batter. In the lot, Trevian lineup. Top of the order. And a ground ball. Shortstop. Up 
throwing. Whoops. Dropped the ball, and he's safe. Second error in the ball game for the Titans. So with one out, here's Sammy Viscotti. And Viscotti falls one back at us. Boy, there have been a lot of them this week. It's about seven or eight this week that have been back at us. And a high fly ball. Cody Carroll drifts over a little bit, takes it for the out. Here's Jake Reynolds, two out. Runner on at first. Thomas with his lead at first. Throw over there. And Thomas is back in time. And strike. Baseball action. Here on the network again, throw to first. And Hamas is back. I wouldn't be surprised if he takes off. They're just over. There he goes. And stolen base for Hamas. They were just tempting the Trevians a little too much. Foul ball. And out of play. Another one fouled off and out of play. They've been rotating baseballs around quite a bit in this game, trying to keep the baseball dry. Every time it hits the ground, they've rotated a new baseball in, send it out to be dried. And throw back out there, and Thomas back in plenty of time. At second, and a high pop-up. Shortstop calling for it, and takes it for the out and the inning. So we move along to the bottom half of the fifth. And the Trevian's down by a run. And Max Toma now into the ball game. Along with Alex Kaplan. He came in last inning. Ervolino now on. Fly ball. Right to Toma. For the out. One up, one down. Here's Robert Belota. He singled his first time up. Ervolino's pitch is a strike. Side winder Ervalino. Andrew Ervalino waiting for the sign from Logan. Weibel and the pitch. That's a ball. In the dirt. What a one to count. Bottom of the fifth inning. And a foul ball. And outside a ball. They lock and load. And a base hit. Back up the middle, single. And for the second time in the ball game, Belota gets a single. He's the only player that did not strike out his first time up. Ben Breck struck out the first eight that he faced. Five of them looking. Foul ball. Connor Pauly, the batter. Top of the batting order for the Titans. Time called. 
Runner with lead and a pitch well outside. And off to second goes Melota. And a pitch low ball. And again, time caught. And now we they'll let the rain pass a little bit. Yeah. Get a little brighter. Pitch inside and whoop. Hell, that's not an error. That's just a pass ball. But over at third. And hit by the pitch is Connor Pauly. And that probably saved a run. Because the ball's dead. Here's Jimmy Ruddy. Outside the ball. And that one's also outside of ball. Time called by Weibel. He wants to have a word with Ervalino. Runners at the corners. And swing and a miss. <laughs> Throw to first. Runner back. Ruddy continues to bat. And a ground ball. Bat right to McCaffrey. He'll throw it first on the tag. They got him, but another run home for the Titans. And they lead it 3-1. to one. Here's Tommy O'Hara. Outside the ball. Bottom of the fifth. New Trier and Glenbrook South, Central Suburban South conference play. And a pitch low ball. Next Trevian's game is a crossover, Central Suburban South versus North. New Trier and Glenbrook North. Next game in real time after this one. For the Treviants. And a little bit of a foul ball. Swing and a hot shot foul. And low and inside the ball. So O'Hara continues to bat. Number three in the batting order. And again fouled off to the right. Throw out the second, runner back. And a ground ball. Nice play. Oh, my. Knocked it down. A line shot knocked down by Lamont. And then throw to first. Got the man. And the inning is over. But not before another run comes across. The Columbia South Titans lead this one 3-1. We'll be back with more. 
the Metro Chicago Sports Network, seen on cable, on New Trier Television, AT&T U-verse in the Chicago area, on Comcast, Northern Cook County, and on Highland Park Access. We're also seen on YouTube, on the World Wide Web. This is the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Under Illinois law, the use of any tobacco products on school grounds is illegal. And on this one, I even would have to kind of badmouth some of the coaches I've seen. I'm not going to mention any names, but it, but some of the high school baseball coaches do, in fact, uh, do dip. And that is illegal under Illinois law. Message in the public interest from the Metro Chicago Sports Network, where we go to the sixth inning. Logan Weibel leads it off here. And, you know, uh, that message I had at the top of the inning, uh, between innings, about uh, the tobacco products, you know, in many ways the coaches are looked up to by the players. And if they're doing that, players are going to do that and add it to that uh, and I've mentioned it a couple of times to a few of the guys I've seen doing that the high school players that are doing that so we got a bit strike by Weibel uh, is the story of a player back in the 90's played for Highland Park Died at age 24 of throat cancer from a lot of chewing. Dropped third strike, and Logan Weibel's out. And anyway, here's Will Frankie. He's two for two, both doubles in his previous plate appearances. And uh, it was a very sad story. Died of throat cancer at age 24. And they said the cause was chew. And uh, everybody gave chase. Just beyond the reach of everybody. And a single for Frankie. And he's three for three on the day. And here's Matt McCaffrey. It does happen. Pitch outside a ball. Plus, it's a disgusting habit. I do. I understand emulating professional athletes that do that. Throw to first, runner back. Again, throw over there, runner back. And a high fly ball. Everybody going to give chase. Center fielder Cody Carroll over and makes the catch. He would have been out anyway for overrunning the, the runner. Running past the base runner. Grant Klenovich. And they got the runner picked off. And tagged out is Egan, the courtesy runner. And that'll do it for the top of the sixth inning. So we go to the bottom of the sixth. And Glumber South leading this one 3-1. Another new pitcher for the Trevs. Over the first in time. One out. David Richmond. Now pitching. I think that's who that is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm right. And a ball low and outside. Bottom of the sixth. Cody Carroll grounded out. McCaffrey to Klenovich. Here's Ben Samborn. He got the big hit, the double. 
in the fourth inning that brought home the lead run. Brought home two. Out to center field. There's a strike. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Two away. And Mario Tercy, the batter. Facing David Richmond. And a pitch low, a ball. Grant Klanovich will get new life in the top of the seventh as the leadoff hitter fly ball out the center. And Egan reaches up and takes it for the out. And we go to the bottom half, or the top half of the seventh. And it is three to one. Lumbrick South leading Nutri. Visit the Metro Chicago Sports Network website homepage for all the games that are available on our YouTube affiliate. The sidelines and the stands are the place to set a good example of sportsmanship and citizenship. Sport a winning attitude. A message in the public interest from the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Hi-ho, hi-ho, to the seventh inning we go. So Grant Kledovich... Gets new life here. He was at bat when Egan got picked off first. There's a strike. I and tie the ball. One and one in the gap. The Grant Kladovich batting here in the top of the seventh. Trevian's chasing two. Swing and a bit strike. One and two. And up over the shortstop. Base hit. Single. And a pinch runner in Tim Fox. Here's Alex Kaplan. He came in for Frank Nicholas a couple of innings ago. Michael has gone the distance. There's a strike. And fouled off. And a pitch high, a ball. Six hits in the ball game for the Trevians. But they only managed uh, timely hitting back in the second. They get home a run. And a whoopsie, fall ball. And strike three. One away. Here's Joe Lamont. The luck over. Goes to Bunt. Pulls it back. Pitch inside a ball. And the look in. The look over. And the pitch on the way, and again, showed Bunt pulled it back. This time, it's a strike. One and one. To the Trevian's second baseman. Runner with the lead. Tim Fox, throw over there. And Fox back. And a strike. Yeah. 
And a fall ball. Yeah, not on fall up. And strike three. Got him looking two down. And Max Toma, the batter. He came in for Scott Hammes, left fielder. And takes a strike on the inside corner. Two out. Runner at first. And strike on the outside corner. And strike three in the ball game is all over. So the final word on this ball game for the Clambrook South Titans, three runs, four hits, two errors. They were struck out nine times, eight in a row by Ben Breck to start off the ball game. Fantastic performance by Breck in that. Uh, one walk. That was issued by Breck in the fourth. Three left on base for the Titans. For the Nutra Trevians, one run on six hits, no errors. They were struck out five times. Langholz did not walk anybody, so the Trevians had no walks issued to them. Six left on base for the Trevians and one stolen base. So that'll do it for us for this one. The Titans sweep the... League series, conference series with the Trevians with this one, winning at 3-1 after stomping on them the first time around. That'll do it for us for this game. So hope you enjoyed the broadcast, despite the outcome if you're a Trevians fan. And for all of us here at the network, we say as always, thanks for watching and so long, everybody.